Hey everybody, uh, this is just a little extra help on figuring out wind direction. And so if you're just given a, let's say in this case, all I have is a high pressure center. And let's say I've got a city here and I've got a city here. Now, how do I figure out the wind direction? So I have to know if it's uh, northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere. So let's just say this is northern hemisphere. So I know I've got clockwise rotation around a high in the northern hemisphere. So what you, what you imagine is this circle that's centered on the H that's coming around, passing right through, say, A. And then the, another circle that's coming around that's passing right through B. Okay. Now, when we're figuring out wind, ultimately what we have to do is draw a straight line segment because what we want the, the goal is to is to say the wind is blowing from the northwest or south. We need a single direction. So it's not good enough to say that the, the wind is curved. We want to know what is the direction exactly at that point. So this is, if you remember tangents from math, right? A tangent of a circle, this is what we're drawing. So here, the tangent to that circle at that point would be that. So it's clockwise wind, so I know the wind's coming this direction, and it comes around and passes through A, it would be coming exactly from the north. And wind is always described in the direction it's coming from. So this would be a north wind. So if I asked you what, you know, describe the direction, you would say north. What would the direction be at uh, city B? Well, exactly the same thing because you still have this coming around. This is a tangent at, to the circle at that point, also north. And in fact, any city I have here along this line, these would all be north winds. The difference might be the speed, but we're not trying to figure out the speed. All, all we can do is figure out the direction here. So let's pick another one. Let's say I said, okay, what's the wind direction here? Okay, and again, northern hemisphere. So I figure, okay, this is, I, you know, again, think of a circle centered in the center of the H, and I've got a clockwise rotation around the, the H. What's the tangent at that point? Might look like this. Where's that wind coming from? It's coming from the southwest, right? It's coming from this area down there. So this would be a southwest wind. So again, when we describe wind, it's the direction it's coming from. Okay, so let's do, say, another example. And let's say I've got a low and I've got a high. Okay, all right, so uh, let's say I've got a city, um, uh, let's say right here. Okay, so what do I do? And again, if this is northern hemisphere, counterclockwise, think of a, think of a circle going around the low and it's gonna be going counterclockwise. So it'd be coming kind of right through here. And what's the tangent of that circle at that point? Like this. And which direction is it coming from? It's coming from the it's coming from this direction, which is southeast. So this is a southeast wind. Now, if you've got multiple pressure centers, like a high and a low, and I've got something in the middle, and I want to know, well, which direction is it? Do I use the high or the low? If I use the low, I imagine a circle that's centered on the low coming this way. So I'm going to draw that. Okay. And if I imagine the high, let me just add an arrow to that. If I imagine it coming around the high, I would have an arc going this direction. Okay, so clockwise around the high, counterclockwise around the low. The tangent to either one of those is the same answer. So in this case, it's from the southwest. 
So if you've got a high and a low and you have a point in the middle, it doesn't matter how you think of it, you'll get the same answer. Now what if I had a high and a high, okay? And I got a point right here. So if you've got two of the same pressure, go with the one you're closest to. I'm closest to this one, so I'm going to use the clockwise move uh, rotation around the, the high, draw my tangent, okay, and then I'd have an answer that's from the northwest. That's a northwest wind. I will not give you one that's exactly in the middle because that one's actually, you know, you'd have to have more information to solve it because one of them would be going clockwise and going for one way and the other one would be coming around clockwise the other way and they cancel each other out. So realistically what happens is there's basically no wind in the middle. We didn't get into that. doesn't matter. Okay, so if you've got more than one pressure center, go towards the one that's closest. That's usually just the rule to remember. Okay, so... So that's how you do it if you don't have any contour lines. If you do have contour lines, then the contour lines is the same thing except you know more information because the contour lines help you help guide you. So on this one, let's see. So I've got a low right here. In fact, it's kind of split into two here. So I'll just kind of put, try this. It's got a low, and it's really kind of, it's, it's one single low, but it's kind of broken up into two blobs. But all you need to know is that because this is a low, and I'm in the northern hemisphere, I've got counterclockwise circulation. And what we said in this class is that we're going to assume the wind was parallel to the contour lines. So I draw a little, little um, straight segments. Again, these are like tangents to the contour lines going around and then if I asked you say you know what is the you know what is the wind direction right here you would say well it's from the northwest right that's a northwest wind and if you were over here on the high so here I've got these numbers are getting larger towards the center so this is an H right there and so I've got clockwise rotation around a high in the northern hemisphere. So I know I've got wind coming this way. And I just draw in little straight segments. Okay, or if I was between contours, same thing. Just stay parallel to the contours. All right. So again, if I asked you, you know, what's the what's the wind right here? This one would be from the southwest. That's a southwest wind. So the diff the only difference between these and the one that we just did is that here you don't have any additional information, so you're assuming the winds are going circular around them. When we have sea level pressure maps, the contours give us some more information. And we can see that it's not perfectly uh, perfectly circular circulation but it's kind of this weird egg-shaped thing. Okay, so I hope that helped. If, we, if you get one that's in the southern hemisphere, just remember the, the rules are reversed. So around the high in the southern hemisphere, counterclockwise. Around the low in the southern hemisphere, clockwise. All right.